right, y'all. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to James Way every Tuesday and Thursday. We got a request, James Roberts. Thanks for the request. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. We appreciate you. If anybody else has a request, this channel is to help you. We're doing this to help you. If you got a request, leave us a comment. We'll get to the videos. Mr. Roberts wants to know what my favorite leg exercises are to build upper legs. Quads and hammies. Stay tuned. I'll show you what they are. Okay, before we get into favorite leg exercises, we're going to go over squat technique, squat form. I've been in this industry over 25 years. Uh, very few people say it, but the ones that do have been in this industry over 20 years as well. Use your natural range of motion for squats. Don't try to fit somebody else's range of motion, right? Years ago, I went to 90 degrees. Right here. And then I would come back up. That killed my knees. I mean, my knees would hurt. Ask Camille, I had to do knee wraps. I cut my leg day short. Everything. So, this is my natural squat form. All the way down, back up. All the way down, back up. The times I was stopping at 90, because everybody says if you go all the way down, you're going to hurt your knees. <laughs> BS. Stopping at 90 is what hurt my knees. All right, stay tuned. Let's get into the favorite exercises. All right, so my favorite leg exercises. It's kind of a lie, because I don't like any leg exercises. I hate them all. I do them, because I need legs. Legs win the show. I'm going to show you two supersets that I've been doing the last six or seven months. And I've made more gains on these two supersets than I've made in the last six or seven years of training legs, right? Alright, so the first one is leg extension and squats. I know we have a unique setup here where I can do them pretty closely. Hopefully you can in your gym as well. You got leg extensions here. When we're doing leg extension, we got peak contraction at the top. Bring it down nice and slow and smooth, right? Alright. You want to use a weight that you cannot get 10 reps on. So get at least 6, but you want to fail in between 6 and 10. As soon as you fail, you can't get it all the way up, get a peak contract, go to your squats. Right to them. We're quad focusing here, so we're going to go all the way down into the bucket. This also stretches your quad under load. And up and squeeze. If you're not squeezing at the top and you're just locked out, you put it on the skeletal, your skeletal system, which we don't want. You want to keep it on your muscles. Up and squeeze. Just like so. Hit that for about 10. And believe me, after going to failure on a leg extension, and then coming over and squeezing your quads on every single rep, man, is that a burner? It's a killer. And like I said, I've been making some serious gains last six months or so. All right, stay tuned. I'll show you the hamstring. All right, superset two of leg exercises that I've made the most gains on here recently. Upper legs, we're talking quads, hamstrings. I just showed you the quad. This one's for your hamstrings. Let's start with leg curl here. Peak contraction, squeeze. Let it up nice and slow and smooth. It's for your hamstrings. Really blow them up here. You can peak contract. If it helps, think of your bicep when you squeeze in here. Same thing, squeeze right here, just like it's a bicep, but it's a hamstring. All right, make sure you get that peak contraction in. You're just cheating yourself with gains. If you're not squeezing every single rep as hard as you can. Now these are gonna be burning, same thing. You don't wanna get 10 reps. You wanna fail before you hit 10 reps. Same rep range in between 10 and six, or sorry, six and 10. And then you go to your big compound movement and try to get 10 reps. All right, so six to 10, peak contract, pop up. Come over here, hit your deadlift. Like so, when it's light, I like to go down, come up, and then squeeze my butt at the top and hand stretch. All right, just like so. Now when this gets heavy, you're not going to be able to squeeze anything. <laughs> Believe me. You just get through the heavy reps. But, those 
two supersets. The hamstring one, really squeeze the back, peak contract. Really get it. Those two supersets will kill you. They will create some trauma, they will create some gains. All right. All right. Some other tips for leg day. You can go a lot heavier than any other body part you're working, so sometimes it's fun. Throw around those big weights. I think in my head, this is the only day I'm actually getting bigger because I'm actually moving tons of weight. It's not like you're going to curl 405 pounds, right? But you can deadlift it. You can squat it. So, that's another tip. It's a big, heavy day. It's grueling. In football, they say you leave a piece of yourself on the field. Well, on leg day, you better leave a piece of yourself in the gym if you want to hit them games. All right. Thanks again, Mr. Roberts, for the request. We're here to help. Anybody else want to request, just leave me a comment. Thanks for tuning in to James Wavy Tuesday and Thursday. A Fitness. Like and subscribe.